Hi guys, welcome to Study IQ. My name is Amit Sani, and I welcome you in this uh, the Hindu analysis video. In the morning, these videos come. In the evening, the MCQ videos they come. So religiously, you have to follow both both these lessons. 26th of July it is, and today's lesson is a shorter one because uh, not many articles are important because some things are talking about uh, uh, the abstract topics uh, like intolerance, uh, like uh, the dirty politics which is going on, divisive issues in American. Uh, uh, parliament and the uh, Trump's remarks and regarding the remarks uh, uh, of uh, mediation uh, that was requested by Modi ji according to Mr. Trump. So regarding that we have a particular article and those things are important. One important article is regarding UAPA amendment bill. So let's start the lesson and pocket news app is trending and those MCQ lessons are coming on a daily basis 24th uh, July's lesson is also uploaded. Uh, yesterday night and uh, you can follow that these lessons are consistent and uh, very important lessons regarding the affordable courses by study iq you can uh, visit the website and the description is given below the video you can call on these numbers and chat section is available on the website's uh, address and uh, all these uh, courses are relevant and important now pdf you will get here you will also get the telegrams link on the same uh, facebook group you can follow that and you can follow me on instagram too and this is the uh, telegrams link that i've given to you rich vocab always makes you a scholar so follow these words and use them consistently now the first article the terrorist tag india needs tough laws to combat terror but the proposed amendments could be misused the issue is that UAPA Act, that is Unlawful Activities Prevention Act of 1967. This law came in 1967. And uh, that was the time when all the controversies started in this country, in the post-independence phase. And you know, uh, it was the time when Indira Gandhi uh, started its term and all these issues started uh, coming in 70s. Like uh, the emergency was there, all the disturbances some corruption issues some uh, uh, legitimacy, legitimacy issues moral crises all these things uh, became a reality on the indian scene so at that time this act came and unlawful activities means it's a very wide area it's a very wide perspective anything can be said as unlawful and unlawful activities and now the issue of uh, present times the kind of uh, situation we have in our country we have intolerance issues for sure Today, people are uh, becoming mobs and mobs are targeting groups. Religious, political intolerance. Political intolerance is at the peak and social media and the mainstream media. That is fueling all kinds of, of uh, fire, provoking issues, provoking people. And it's all a divisive politics that we are looking at. Now, in a time where new kinds of terms are evolved and... Uh, in a democratic country like India, where even the intellectual class, think tank class, they are given tags like urban naxals, anti-nationals, and uh, uh, intolerant gangs, secular gangs, Khan market gangs, these kind of terms we have seen, these have uh, been used even by the people sitting on the topmost posts. Even uh, we have uh, heard, it, heard these kind of terms from... Uh, some prominent people on the political scene so these things are so apparently true that it makes the whole scenario very disturbing very much uh, unstable and targeting environment this is particularly is so the uh, in this particular environment in this particular uh, favor there is a responsibility by the politicians and by the ministers who are sitting on the highest posts that they calm down the situation and they uh, just focus on the real wrongdoers but it apparently looks like there is more support and backup for those people who are creating these kind of terms and who are uh, labeling people anti-nationals who are forcing other people to say something to eat something or something like that and in the name of majority it is the huge issue of intolerance and uh, nobody can deny that today it is the situation Combinedly, if we look at it, then certainly India has become an aggressive country and Indian people are less tolerant. So nobody can deny that. Now the debate has shifted to a different uh, aspect that why these things are there. Now people are justifying the aggression and justifying all these issues. 
and more and more support we are looking all, although you know all these things and uh, more labeling is there more gagging is there that's apparent apparently true some people are uh, uh, behaving foolishly in the name of uh, being intellectual that's also true but majority of those people who are questioning the government and all these things they are targeted for sure so that is the case and why this background i'm telling you because this unlawful activities prevention act is totally relatable with that particular situation and with that particular uh, scenario of the present uh, situation in this country so that's why the allegation of uh, uh, some misuses which can be a possibility in the future that we are discussing here because first thing basic thing general thing that this act must be there and national security is uh, uh, the top priority but at the same time we need to make sure that the innocent people or the people who are not the real culprits and who are not contributory to these crimes or any kind of planning like that these people are not labeled as a terrorist or the sympathizers because a very uh, unusual and uh, uh, disturbing terms are being used and our home minister mr amit chaji he warned that this government would not spare terrorist that is the best thing to say and that is totally acceptable but at in addition over their sympathizers and this reference to urban maoist urban maoist what is this term who has created this term this term has no legitimacy this is a social media campaign it was a kind of a trend and now it is being supported by the minister home minister of this country and that's unfortunate because under this term they are labeling many many intellectuals also and who are very responsible people they those may be writers those may be social activists those may be civil society uh, activists and uh, uh, those may be very much uh, aged people and uh, they do not have any political ambition or something like that but uh, uh, that way uh, that they have that they question some things they question some uh, uh, illogical things and all and uh, uh, certainly the issues they raise those must be addressed at least those must, must be listened to and those people are, are, are also coming under that particular uh, uh, urban maoist label and that targeting so that's why it's it's a objectionable uh, label because wrongly some people are trolled under this particular label some people were targeted there and even some people were killed and those were uh, maybe journalists maybe some uh, writers and all so how much justified is, is that in any democratic country if we look at the particular democratic scale uh, ideal scale then these things are highly problematic that these kind of people are trolled like that and why because majority things in a particular way and that's why they troll some people who are belonging to some particular uh, a different uh, way of thinking so it is just a way of, way of thinking and understanding some things that's the way means i i may say that if i uh, tell my perspective then uh, i would say that this is totally wrong an environment where maybe people are making crimes but it is not a right for the mob that they can kill somebody like that but some people and maybe the majority they would think that this is legitimate if somebody has done some crime then he must uh, get the punishment but the issue is that whether it is logical or not there is a system for that follow that system why you are taking law in there and in, in your hands how you can troll somebody how, how you can target somebody if you have problem with someone then uh, lodge an fir against that person and follow the uh, uh, procedure there why to create this kind of environment of fear that's the thing and in the name of this uh, environment of fear many innocent people are targeted they are trolled and uh, uh, there is no uh, remedy for that that's the real reason and now this term is being used in this very sensitive law where there can be misuses if any government becomes uh, becomes in a way uh, corrupt or they want to go away from their responsibilities if they want to mislead the nation if they want to uh, and uh, treat the people away from the questioning of developmental aspect and they want to take some people from uh, towards a nationalistic discourse if in future any government becomes like that then these things can be heavily misused this act can be heavily misused so that's why what is the need what is the motive of our discussion motive is that there must be scrutiny there must be detailed discussion over that parliamentary committees should be used here but that's that thing is not being done here that is the problem and uh, uh, you see uh, there is majority so uh, 
today NDA government they can go for all these uh, uh, bills and they can get them passed very easily because they have the majority but the mistakes today they are making that these things are not well discussed these things are not well scrutinized and these are very sensitive things whether we talk about the RTI amendment bill and this is the issue and you see uh, these things are uh, in whose favor it they are in the favor of uh, uh, people only RTI is in favor of people only so they must support the scrutiny of these bills so that is the reason and that's why it, this is obviously clear that we must show zero tolerance towards the people who are really anti-national who are really putting uh, India's security at threat there must be zero tolerance and the real terrorists they never be they, they never must be spared but at the same time you look at the procedure also you look at these labeling also where uh, wrongfully some innocent people are being targeted so it is for that so that's the main issue okay so uh, you can write a means question on that and a lot of articles will come on this issue so it's not a small issue now this article you have to read that because uh, there is nothing to be discussed here only thing that is of uh, intolerance issue and that has become a global phenomenon now now it's a very easy tool for the authorities and the government to stay in power because with this way they can easily divide people they will create a particular group of uh, other and they will create a particular group of majority and in the name of a, some particular issue that may be a religion just like uh, we see in India that religion majority religious majority has become a huge phenomena nobody talked about that issue uh, ever before but today these things are so apparent in this country so here it is the religious uh, minority and majority issues and how much uh, legitimate these things are these are different uh, discussions but these divisions are apparently there and these uh, uh, in facts or you may say these uh, groups are there and in America when Trump said that uh, uh, these uh, colored congresswomen means uh, who are not white people from America they must go to their home countries and a very objectionable thing uh, that was and a vote condemning the president's uh, uh, statement 240 democrats were there condemning it and 187 who were supporting trump's move that's problem means 187 are in favor of this objectionable statement everyone knows and nobody can deny that uh, these people who have come uh, uh, to america from various countries they have been very much contributory to the america's success story and they have contributed a lot and you see this uh, particular uh, scheme of things it's it's a it's a great fear for america you see they invite uh, uh, actually they allow not invite but they allow all these qualified people uh, and uh, these uh, educated people responsible people engineers doctors scientists uh, they allow only these kind of people who are pursuing some studies and uh, who will become a responsible citizen that thing is for sure that they check before they allow them and they let them permanently stay there and this is how america has become great because they enjoyed the great minds and they uh, uh, used and exploited these great minds of the world means the best people from all the countries they are coming to america so this is the best way to bring a, a nice country and a progressive country but today because of the political reasons means today's politicians they do not have uh, any responsibility and accountability factor so that's why they want to divide the opinions they want to divide the people and they want to remain with majority because majority will win the game so that's why they will talk according to the majority and this is a very simple way that distract people confuse people with nonsensical issues some issues where no questioning can be there means if you talk about the uh, if you talk about the national security issues if you talk about some uh, uh, very sensitive talks then nobody can question that and uh, it is not a sacrosanct thing or it is not a, a thing uh, which is uh, totally perfect that all governments are very much uh, responsible and honest in making the talks regarding national security it is not a sacrosanct they may may misuse that but there cannot be any questioning means somebody would talk about the national security then nobody can question that that is apparently true and it is very easy for them so that's why they they should never uh, use these things in politics but they are openly using it and they know that nobody can question that and easily they can divert all these things uh, uh, towards a 
blame that people are questioning forces nobody is uh, questioning the forces they are asking questions to you the government but they divert this issue that they are questioning forces so these are very easy ways these days to the politicians they can easily distort all the debates and they can uh, target some people on the basis of that because some people uh, are there who think deeply and they understand the games and they will question these people that why you are doing these kind of things because normal people they do not understand that so they will ask question why you are doing uh, these kind of things and then it is very easy for those authorities to target these people and they will label them like we have seen the secular gang and all these gangs in india and i am very much uh, clear about those things to tell you that uh, these things are problematic and these this is clear targeting and there is no logic in that targeting because these are questions which were asked to the authorities and the government and now they are trolled like hell same thing is happening in america here the president of america the biggest country he is saying that uh, uh, this is a uh, issue that if you do not like this then you go back to your home countries these people were born in america only one is a naturalized citizen these women so uh, leave about the men and men and women issue how you can target the people who contributed in your success story and today because you want to divide the opinions you want to divide people and you want to divide and rule so a very easy way you have adopted and there is a issue that is going on of white nationalism some things are always there in people's mind means some people are always frustrated because of the jobs issue because of the economic issues and uh, uh, these uh, lifestyle issues and all and uh, everybody wants their full spaces and they do not want to pe get other people to be there in their vicinities who have come from some other areas so these kind of frustrations are there in all the societies all across the globe but these should not be exploited and this is heavily exploited an american president is exploiting these things and the white nationalism issue is bolstered like hell by him and he is uh, running all his campaign on the basis of that and now he has made it sure that in the next uh, upcoming election in the next year he will be the icon of white nationalism and that's why these people are supporting him and nearly half the population is supporting trump like hell and they uh, see him as a hero and just because of, because of an issue the white nationalism issue and it is not a guarantee that uh, he is supporting them totally and he is uh, bringing this uh, uh, white people dominance there it is not the true thing because it is not possible because all people have their stakes and all people were are contributory and uh, not all the people will will be a victim of this uh, uh, dirty politics they know what is legitimate and what is logical they apply their minds because these are best minds living in america and uh, uh, they have come from all over the world and they can understand things very easily so that's why they are questioning and now these are being targeted so it's very easy thing it's a problematic thing and now we have discussed this issue like hell and uh, you can write a mains question on that and take all the contexts across the globe all the countries and how this thing has become so easy like if we take the case of uk india turkey philippines brazil and where uh, all these kind of tactics are uh, uh, being used very heavily right wing strongmanship is rising right wing politics is rising and what is right wing politics actually right wing politics is just being conservative and uh, these people are more against someone then being in support to someone so they have objections always right wing politicians they have objections objections always and they want to maintain some things but change is the rule of this earth and everything changes and uh, most of the times they talk about traditional ways traditional values but they are just uh, running their uh, politics in the name of traditional values and uh, they are using all mod modern uh, facilities and all they are not uh, abjuring all these things you can take the case of india also where right wing what they are talking about they are talking about uh, all the traditional ways uh, uh, and uh, uh, these uh, uh, values ayurvedas uh, alternative medicine issues and uh, sanskriti and all these ways but look at their practical ways of lifestyle how many people are living in the ancient indian ways nobody all are enjoying all modern facilities and uh, just uh, uh, for the sake of these campaigns and all these uh, uh, issues they are using all these things and i am not saying that the opposition parties are legitimate ones i am talking 
on the uh, uh, on the on a particular ideal scale that how these things should be if we compare those situations then these things are apparent people who are uh, raising these uh, illogical issues of uh, uh, issues of religion illogical issues of uh, um, uh, these uh, majority minority uh, divisions who are exploiting these kind of divisions who are fueling these divisions these people are hailed like heroes and that is the big problem and uh, uh, many stunning examples we have in front of us which should have should not have been there like that in a country like uh, uh, india a democratic country where gandhi gandhi's effigies are uh, being shot in all open and uh, gandhi is hailed as anti national what you can expect so that's why i'm saying that whole world is uh, changing and why because of this dirty politics issue because they do not have legitimate issues they do not have great performances in developmental areas so that's why they confusing they are confusing normal people in they are uh, uh, trapping these people's minds in these nonsensical issues i'm giving giving you an example because it is not america's issues it is not indian issues it is a global issue look at the headlines of every evening debates and i am so stunned to see this that they do not have any other topic to discuss some program in india uh, that comes uh, i can name that program uh, uh, that some dangal uh, name program on aaj tak channel look at the headlines every day 6 pm i think that comes and i uh, uh, go to facebook and i see the headlines every day every day provocative issues every day uh, uh, these kind of uh, religious uh, talks and uh, some uh, political targeting is happening there some uh, minority targeting is happening there and always always they are taking fear of uh, one party and always they are targeting some other group that's apparent and that 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 is easily visible and there is no conf confusion in the uh, in the understanding and the logic of that particular program you can see that what kind of motive they have i'm shocked to see what they want to uh, what, what they want with this country and you see lakhs of people follow that and they like those kind of debates and those debates are provocative first of all they are uh, provocative first thing they are making people more aggressive they are uh making people uh, like they are, they want to go for some war they will change their minds they will uh, provoke their minds to a level that people are heavily provoked and the negative energy is filled up in their minds and they will do something like that so this is the way politicians are targeting people and they have targeted people's mind actually so they have changed their opinions and they have exploited their uh ingrained aggression which is always there in in, in a person's mind means some place uh, some space in your mind will be filled with the uh, uh, aggression and frustration always because some issues are always going on in the life but those people are turning those frustrations into these uh, uh, political uh, mis campaigns and uh, illogical issues issues of aggression division and they are exploiting that because it is very easy to exploit somebody who is disturbed who is provoked who is emotionally imbalanced and who is uh, emotionally provoked so that's why it is a global issue and it has become so huge a issue that if we are not talking today about it it will bring a very drastic future people will start killing other people because this will go to a uh, to that stage where aggression is the only way to settle things mobs will settle things today this time has become here B means people are not uh, uh, understanding that they are killing somebody on what basis you are killing somebody somebody uh, 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 is a suspicious criminal means being a suspicious criminal you are killing people so all these things are connected many people in my lecture they say that uh, uh, i talk about some nonsensical issues and i stress stress the topic but please understand i am not stretching the topic i am talking about a very sensitive issue and these things are connected because these things are related to the right wing strongmanship this case is similar and common to, to all these topics where some section is very aggressive and they are making other people aggressive against uh, the other group so that is the thing here it is the case of minorities uh, the demographic minorities in america here in india different issues are there uh, and uh, in other countries also this thing is going on so what what do we do of these things you have to write this question 
and how we can come out of that you have to explain that you have to uh, point out all those uh, solutions and first of the all uh, first of all the, uh, do you see this thing is a problem or not or you support that over nationalistic claims and those uh, uh, fervors that that's the case next issue is regarding uh, again a controversial topic trump is again here and again making controversial remarks but openly uh, in front of whole world's media when he said that uh, mr modi approached him for this mediation and the way he said this thing you must watch this video the way he is saying this thing and that's so apparent it is not something like uh, uh, confusing it is so clear uh, a statement that he approached me and he said that uh, uh, would you like to uh, become an arbitrator here a mediator here then trump said where then uh, uh, he said that uh, modi ji said to me that in kashmir issue then uh, he seems to be stunned on this uh, issue and uh, here imran khan was sitting with him so it was a kind of a bizarre thing and a stunning thing a shocking thing for our whole country that how he can say this kind of thing although he has many reasons to say this thing but it's a huge thing and the president of the biggest country of this world how can he say so apparently and when he say this thing so apparently what is our response trump said something but modi ji uh, did not say a word over that that is again a reality and that is also a questionable thing when uh, the biggest leader of this world means that mr trump the, the the president of the biggest country when he openly takes the name of uh, uh, our uh, prime minister then i pri then our prime minister he must uh, refute this claim and he must say that trump is lying here but who gives this clarification ministry of external affairs and they say that we are sure that uh, uh, this kind of request was not made so they said this thing on 23rd of july and on 25th of july means for 2 3 days media is trying their best to ignore this issue and uh, not to make this a big issue and on 25th of july the mea spokesperson said that uh, it's time to move on from this issue india's relationship with us remains multifaceted and stands on its own merit that is okay but what about that responsibility suppose this thing uh, uh, was said by some opposition leader or some other uh, uh, person apart from the ruling party what they would have done they would have uh, uh, they would have brought those anti national charges sedition charges on that person how you said this thing this is our strong stand that we will solve this issue bilaterally always we have maintained that how you dare to say that and all kinds of anti national claims and all these uh, 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 charges would have been there on that person but here openly trump is taking the name of mr modi and he is saying nothing and that 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 is very bizarre and that's why we say that this thing has become so political and it should not be political because uh, uh, it is about uh, uh, proving something that is so clear trump is taking name so clearly so why prime minister not not refusing uh, this remark that i have not said something like that why this is not there and now you say move on from that so that is the problematic thing why i am talking about that because the way they respond to some issues the way they are bringing these uh, uh, uapa uh, bills the way they are ignoring the scrutiny scrutiny in the parliament the way they are making changes in the rti i mean uh, rti issue and all these issues are talking about their unique ways that whatever they are doing they are justifying those things and whatever questions are there against them they are not uh, responding to those questions and the people who are questioning they are targeting those people the trolling has been started if somebody is asking this question that uh, why prime minister is not uh, uh, responding to that why mea is coming uh, uh, to save the situation and now why they are saying that uh, it's time to move on then these people are trolled so these kind of things are proving here that some ways are not up to uh, a right position and uh, uh, for sure we should move on here for sure we should move on here i am telling you why we should move on here because we should not give this thing a very much uh, uh, legitimacy because trump is not a legitimate person he has lied many times 
but uh, those were petty things and it's a huge thing to say and he knows that uh, uh, they will call him liar and how he will respond to that so that's the situation and why we should move on here because the writer puts a claim here that uh, there is a bottom line that leave about trump we should not consider any case any foreign case any foreign leaders claim because it is the time we which these times are very disturbing and all countries they have to stand on their own we as a country have to uh, focus on our capabilities and we have to stand on on our own uh, uh, claims because leaders can adjust things according to their ways whatever is suiting them they can go for that today america needs pakistan in the taliban issue in the afghanistan issue they want a peaceful exit a respectable exit there and that is not possible so they need pakistan's help there and pakistan is the only country that that can help there and now uh, trump says that uh, uh, th th this big claim trump makes here that uh, our prime minister approached him for this mediation that was huge means they may adopt huge ways and first of all what was the need to say this thing so openly that is again uh, uh, raising some concerns here means that was intentional and why because pakistan's prime minister was sitting there and uh, uh, he said that at the g20 meeting uh, prime minister modi approached him what was the need to talk uh, talk about this issue so apparently if they were doing that then they must have discussed this issue but uh, uh, in front of the world media why this thing was said so that is the issue that uh, uh, that 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 uh, uh, give us some suspicion here and that's why lying and cheating those can be new norms and uh, uh, all people being very smart there and they all are saving their own situation so that's why we should not uh, 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 give importance to all these kind of claims which are against our national interest so national interest is the biggest thing and nation is always bigger than anything when they try to put some leader above the country or they may try to uh, put a parallel between a leader and the country then there are problems and that's why we need to scrutinize these kind of things and we, we need to uh, ask questions there and we have to make sure this thing that national national interest is the topmost priority and that should be maintained and because of that national interest we should not give any importance to this claim trump's claim and we know uh, the legitimacy of the trump's uh, uh, claims his talks and his ways always the the way he uh, responds to some situation global situations even he has uh, said that uh, climate change is a hoax so what we can accept here so that's the problem so uh, the kashmir issue is a very sensitive issue and there is a unique situation means india and pakistan our stand is that we have to solve this issue bilaterally and what are our condition that even the un resolution said that uh, uh, it should be the first move by pakistan that it withdraws all the forces and then we will settle the issue so uh, our claim india's claim is legitimate one pakistan also has its claim that uh, it wants india to with withdraw all its forces and then pakistan take this issue to the un platform and then a referendum should be there but that is not accepted acceptable acceptable to us and a referendum we cannot go for because many groups are working uh, for uh, uh, mind washing of the kashmir's uh, populations so that's why it is the thing so both countries have their own claims so that means uh, this thing is insolvable because these are two countries and countries they have their own uh, uh, statements they have their own claims they have their own stands and who can question that although this thing is illegitimate totally the pakistan's claim is illegitimate but what we can do about that it is a country's claim pakistan is a country so this thing has become insolvable this way it will be a deadlock forever so that is why the uh, the solution can be there on on a third country and these leaders they have to meet on some uh, third country and uh, there is a need for some involvement there because these two countries are not able to solve this problem because the kind of conditions they have put there these are problematic and these are bringing a deadlock there so that's why it's a very sensitive situation and what do we do about that uh, we all know about that that discussions are the best solutions 
and uh, in a third country, third country, according to the writer Chinmay or Gair Khan, these things should go, and uh, they must solve it. Why? Why they must solve it? Because people of both these nations and majority of the people who are poor, they are being fooled because of these issues. Because reality is not in front of us. Just claims are in front of us official stands are in front of us and these things are not bringing any solution to that so the problem persists and the uh, investment is necessary every year budget allocation is there necessary every year and these are not small numbers billions of dollars we are uh, uh, we have to invest here in our defense maintenances and always threat is there we are losing soldiers we are losing innocent people and the situation is out of our hands kashmir situation is out of our hands so what do we have in uh, in the end we have problems in the end we have no solutions so so that's why this problem must be solved and anyway this must be solved this is the uh, biggest priority and i say that uh, national interest is in solving this problem anyway if it is solved if they need to go to a third uh, 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 third country then uh, for sure they must go because this is the problem this is a high time that they these they must solve this problem okay next issue uh, regarding gender bias uh, uh, here many examples are given like caribbean countries uh, nepal's example is given everywhere the number of women in the legislatures of these democratic nations these are good in numbers uh, even in nepal it is more than uh, uh, 32 percent around one third number is there in countries like sweden and all uh, half of the population sorry half of the number is uh, for women in caribbean countries more than half the number is there with women and it is apparently correct that uh, women are much more responsible and uh, uh, there is a problem of responsibility and accountability more than the efficiency we all know this thing apparently is true because uh, these politicians are not geniuses we all know that but they are not accountable they are not responsible so more females must be there and today i say that uh, the bill is uh, hanging and we are not able to give even 33 percent of the reservation in the parliament that these must be women but we should go for 50 percent and this should be a law this should be a mandatory condition we should put that into constitution i'm all for that because uh, uh, they have now solved the issue of triple talaq and that was a legitimate one they must have talked about the uh, female rights but this is the bigger right there 50 percent females must be there in the parliament second thing they must go for that at any cost they they should bring this law so leave about 33 percent they should bring at all levels 50 percent females this country is in dire need of that and in the global gender gap report that is uh, by world economic forum and the inter-parliamentary union also talks about that issue that only one fourth is the number on an average for female legislators and in some countries it's a big problem like india uh, we are at 149th rank among 192 countries according to the ipu list and barely 11.8 percent are the female representation in the 16th Lok Sabha. So that's a shameful number. It should be more than 50%. This is the condition in this country. And it's, this country needs that. We have all the Devis to worship, but we do not have females in our parliament. So this must be there. And that is my suggestion. And you can openly uh, talk about this issue in means questioning. And you can put this uh, opinion that 50% females must be there. Next, Supreme Court, Supreme Court says that uh, uh, within 60 days you need to establish poxo courts where 100 pending cases are there and they are in all the districts in all the districts more than 100 cases are there so it's a dire need and within 60 days they need to give a report that how much courts they have established and it's a mandatory condition they have to execute that so that's the case because it is the alarming rise in the child abuse cases and nobody can deny, deny that and so many cases are there uh, every day in front of us and some are uh, rarest of the rare cases and children are the biggest victims here so poxo act 2012 act is for uh, uh, child abuse cases and it's a very important uh, important case but uh, uh, these uh, trials are not happening verdicts are not coming and cases are hanging in the courts why because courts are overburdened so we need specialized courts for some specialized issues so these poxo courts must be there and it is in compliance to the act next in karnataka uh, uh, they have lost uh, the trust vote 
and uh, now the government must go and the bjp government very soon will be there but a trend is being set by the speaker there and he has been talking about many uh, moralistic grounds he says that uh, future generations should not remember me as a person who has uh, uh, taken some fear and who is not uh, taking right decisions and now he disqualifies three rebel uh, congress members and he says that it's the case of clear anti defection law and certainly it is the clear it is the clear case means uh, people have chosen these people and now they are being uh, rebels and because of them it's all a hullabaloo situation and it's all a manageable situation and this state is totally disturbed what kind of developmental uh, responsibilities they are uh, maintaining today nothing they are all involved in this issue and this is going on for uh, around one month now and now he disqualifies three people because it is the final decision of the speaker in vidhan sabha's speaker in lok sabha's and uh, chairman in the rajya sabha who can decide about the anti defection cases and uh, anti defection uh, definition you must understand the people who are leaving their parties going against the parties and uh, if a independent member is joining some party if a nominated member after 6 months if he, if he is joining a party so uh, this these are the cases of anti defection and this was not originally there in the constitution it is the 10th schedule which was brought up in 1985 into constitution and uh, the power lies with the speaker so that's the case okay so he is setting a trend here according to him and that's the case next uh, finance secretary subhash garg uh, applies for voluntary retirement and uh, some cases not uh, any case but uh, some issues were there against him because he went for a sovereign bonds issue and that was not acceptable to some uh, groups and uh, maybe that is the reason that uh, he is seeking voluntary retirement in october so that's the case subhash chandra garg is the name and i discussed about him yesterday because uh, he was the chairman of a committee who was uh, 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 looking in the case of uh, virtual currencies in the future that uh, we should ban all the private cryptocurrencies and what was the what is going to be the future of the virtual currencies there so he headed that panel and uh, for that it was important so it was there in current affairs next issue the global warming very important points for mains you must read both these uh, uh, news is and france you see a uh, european country what is the temperature 42.4 degrees celsius and uh, previous record of 40.4 was in 1947 so it's a very very uh, disturbing thing and these kind of temperatures are common in countries uh, of tropical region but it is there in france so unimaginable uh, unimaginable things are happening around the globe and uh, we have to take war steps otherwise things will be out of our hands and we will not be able to survive here on this planet new drug to combat wombat killing disease it's a mammal it's a marsupial and uh, uh, it is there in australia many australian animals are unique like marsupials are present there only on the australian continent or the country anything we can call it and uh, uh, now they are uh, trying new drugs for that so they may ask you about wombats okay 90% of bear nosed wombats in a single national park on the island state of tasmania so that's a part of australia and uh, they are there like uh, these uh, other marsupials like uh, kangaroos they are also there only in australia so that is the case so thanks a lot keep watching and uh, please come to the mcq lesson thanks a lot